Welcome back, everyone. In this lesson, we're going to derive the half angle identities for sine and cosine. Cosine of 2 theta was given in terms of sine squared theta and cosine squared theta. If we express sine squared theta in terms of the cosine 2 theta, we'll obtain a half angle formula for sine. And using the second equation, we can obtain a half angle formula for cosine. So that's what we'll be doing. Let's take the first equation and solve for sine squared theta. Move 2 sine squared theta to the other side, we get plus 2 sine squared theta equals 1. Move the cosine 2 theta to the right side, we get minus cosine 2 theta. F from what I've seen, students add or subtract the same term to each side. That makes it a lot more cumbersome than moving terms. Imagine adding 2 sine squared theta to each side and then subtracting cosine 2 theta from each side. That adds so many steps. So it's better to get into the habit of moving terms to the left and right and just changing the plus sign to a minus sign or the minus sign to a plus sign. Now we're ready to solve for sine squared theta. Divide both sides by 2. We find that sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. Let's derive the half angle identity for cosine next. We'll solve cosine squared theta in terms of cosine 2 theta. Moving the terms around, we get 2 cosine squared theta equals Move the 1 to the other side, we get 1 plus cosine 2 theta. Divide both sides by 2. We find that cosine squared theta equals 1 plus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. And that's the half angle formula that we'll use. Here are the two half angle identities again. One can change the angle on the left side to a half angle, like a over 2, and change the right side, 2 theta, to an a, but that's not necessary. And it's not necessary to take the square root of each side either. Just leave the identity in this form. That's how it's going to be used in calculus. Notice the sine squared, the cosine squared, and how they differ. The cosine one has a plus in the middle, and the sine one has a minus sign in the middle. So that's pretty easy to remember, right? Okay, good luck. I'll see you next time. Bye.